Hi, Gemini. This is Just with your second week, March 2021 general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, Gemini, there is some type of karmic thing going on with you and a cancer. I can't get cancer out of my mind. For some of you, you can't get a cancer out of your mind. I guess this person has charmed you and now you kind of can't get them out of your mind. The challenge is for you to hold back. The challenge is for you to be confident in an uncomfortable situation. Some of you are very uncomfortable right now. You may be second guessing everything for some of you here. Also, Leo could be a, a challenge for you guys, but we'll get into that in a minute. Employed Geminis, you may be all the rage. Uh, you could be um, all the talk. Everyone's talking about you. They can't get enough of you. You feel very solid, very confident in this position that you have. And I feel like you may be... Um, going to new heights around cancer season. There's also going to be some significance between others of you in the cancer season, which is late June going into January. I'm going into July. I may, it may go all the way up through January. Who knows? Um, others of you, you're out of there. You're leaving this job behind um, and you are looking for something else. You will be successful in finding something. If you've been stressed out about that, don't worry. Things are going to start falling into place by next week for some of you uh unemployed again some of you are going back to a place familiar to you or what you know you also may get caught if you've been um, lying on your resume that sort of thing you can get caught right now and then you lose the opportunity and you really wanted that job so uh, you guys have karma all over you unfortunately this year uh, so be careful with that okay others of you again you will be successful in finding something with people who you know so you know reach out to people and even if you got a no from a place in the past this time is different so do still apply for places that you've applied already because that may prove positive self-employed well what can I say other than you are on top of the world like you you're doing so well with your business um it's only getting better it's almost like you have everything that you've ever hoped for or longed for now other areas of your life may be challenging but career your business isn't you have it um kind of you have your business where you want it to be and for others of you it's like you're okay you have a very solid business you've taking the time and attention to grow that business and now you're moving on to something else um you're going to be starting something others of you you may have brought your family in so now it's like a family affair and that has made things even better with you and your family so you have really um, a great business that has a lot of money and it's only growing um, as time goes on so that looks really good now what is going on some of you can't get this man off your mind you feel like someone could be the one in your life um, for some of you someone can't get you off their mind you want someone so bad you are so attracted to this person but you're you're in a pickle you don't know what the hell to do for some of you be careful because there will be a third um, party in it, uh, situation that kind of breaks the two of you apart or there can be heartbreak and pain. I'm telling you, like I told Taurus, you guys are possibly heading toward heartbreak. You may say, just it's too late. I'm already there. Because I do see a lot of pain, resentment, not resentment, but regrets. Some of you have regrets. Some of you are really going through the motions emotionally. And you have been kind of holding yourself back. Or you will be this week. And let's see how this is. You, you're going to just let it go for your own mental, emotional well-being, because this thing has got the better of you. People may not even know that you're going through the motions. Um, you're going to let this go by end of week, by next week. You'll say, OK, fine. I'll let the chips fall where they may. Yes, I'm hurt or disappointed by the situation. Yes, I've cried many tears. I've you know had to accept that something is ending. Be careful with a lot of drinking or trying to resolve your problems by reaching out to people just to kind of boost up your spirits or your energy or your emotions because as soon as you get what you want from them, you'll just like ditch them completely. I feel for some of you, you may tr take a trip or a travel. There's a sense of needing to emotionally refresh, recharge, um, reboot. And for some of you, you may have friends or family who's going to help you with that. So that looks really good there. But yeah, you guys, excuse me, you guys are definitely going through some things. Gemini, here's what it looks like to me. And 
the only thing I see you doing at this point, this particular week and going into next week is holding back. Okay. Almost like kind of just waiting for the dust to settle and the, the coast to clear. And you may have cried many tears with this person. You may have gone through many of hurt emotions and feelings with a particular person. It's not easy to have to let someone go or give them up. It's not easy to accept defeat or loss from a person. And for some of you, my condolences, if you, if someone has passed, they may even have passed in the home, um, but you may be experiencing a loss, a death of someone here. Okay. And I do see, you know, funeral arrangements and that sort of thing going on. So there's that. Um, now let's get into love because unfortunately, Gemini, this is a kind of heavy reading and it's, you guys have been building up to this place of like, um, emotions kind of coming to its peak for those of you who are single. Well, the challenge is that you haven't completely healed and recovered and you may be meeting so many people. I mean, it's, it's not a problem for you to meet people. It's not a problem for you to, um, it's not a problem for you to meet people and and um, get attention, but you haven't healed. Also, I feel for you, some of you, you want an idealistic person. There may be someone, singles again, who you want and you've longed for and you feel like that's my person. I'm destined to be with that person. This, this is my person. Um, but you're getting everyone but that person. Um, and it's very frustrating for you here you don't want this person to get away and that may be where all of the the heartbreak and pain is coming from for some of you you are attracting people who work up a lot they're focusing more on their work and they have let their emotions of the past go right there they are heading toward emotional fulfillment okay so you definitely are attracting good quality people but they will disconnect emotionally in a heartbeat because they aren't focusing more on emotions they're focusing more on the more practical areas of life and that is finances now the biggest challenge here is um this cancer and for some of you it's almost like if you're going through pain right now and anguish and all of the things, but when you get into cancer season, it's like you've paid your karma back. Okay. And so now it's almost like, and, and how you, you're almost going to reward yourself in your birthday season and say, okay, I'm cutting the card. I'm cutting myself from this and I'm moving forward. I'll let the chips fall where they may. And that's really good. I feel for also, uh, a cancer could be building up karma against you. Now this could be a cancer. Uh, I heard Leo Scorpio or Pisces, but as you know, it could be any sign of a woman that, is very or man very emotional op, emotionally open to you and this person also could be dealing with their own level of karma themselves so it's almost like they've come into your life and now you're dealing with karma from them right so you both have probably karma to kind of deal with but you also can be released from this karma with this person around cancer season if it's not cancer season it's certainly being scorpio season which is in november late october no or november and when it comes to a past person, an ex of yours, they have been waiting on you, thinking about you. They've never let you go and they still want to connect. For some of you, this could be a Sagittarius, but as we know, it could be any sign. Someone definitely has been waiting and thinking of you, just as you've been waiting and thinking of, an, of another person probably and kind of wanting to see if the two of you can work things out again. Gemini ladies, singles, well, some of you have been carrying this burden of the past for quite some time. It now is, you know, has, you know, it, it is living on your back, basically. It's been a burden. I do feel like you've come out of that or you're coming out of that. And definitely in Taurus season, it's almost like you start to slowly but surely, and for some of you, I can see it now, you're feeling yourself again. You're feeling whole. You're feeling more, um, confident about where you're going you're in good health so that looks really good for some of you you're just going to focus more on your career your finances and you're like you know what working as hard as I have and putting all my attention into my work has gotten me where I am now where I'm very financially stable um, I've created a significant business for myself or finances for myself and guess what I'll continue to do that um, you may have a past trying to come back to you but I feel like you may even have that person blocked and they can't even get to you you're so focused on moving forward and your finances and career, and you will get an increase in your finance and career. You are mastering something. So you come out of pain or this, again, challenge being better for it, okay? 
And of course, as soon as you take your your mind off of someone and start focusing on yourself and what matters, of course, a person wants to come back in. Why do I keep saying cancer? I meant to say Gemini. I think I did say Gemini uh, single ladies. That just means that a cancer is really um, in this energy here or things will be changing in a major way in cancer season. Now, Gemini single men. Well, you may have opened yourself up to someone wanting to take them out, spend some time with them, see them, that sort of thing. You guys are in a very um, youthful, playful energy. You're not taking anything too serious right now with anyone. And that's because you have gone through heartbreak and pain. This isn't going to be the easiest week for you coming up. For some of you, you're kind of looking at yourself and asking, are you really ready for commitment? And there's a part of you that feels like you are, you know, you guys are double sided. So a part of you, you feel like you are when even in that there's like, hey, I'm ready to kind of try to take a stab at commitment but there's another part of you it's like I just want to have a good time and have some fun and no one is going to require much from me but you are still so 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 attached there's a lot of attachments first of all you guys are having a lot of fears with connecting with anyone because you've experienced major heartache and pain and you don't kind of want to see it for what it is you're not ready to deal with that situation you are obsessed over someone completely obsessed over someone but either they've cut you out and they're not opening up so that you know where you stand with this person which is you know, a death curse to Gemini for them to be curious. Like the, the biggest way to get back out of Gemini is just to not answer anything with them because they'll forever be stuck. Um, you may be going through that Gemini single men that you're stuck on someone is stuck with the situation of not knowing. Um, others of you, it's like you will, you would rather play, indulge, do everything, but deal with the fear of commitment, the hurt and pain of the past, being stuck to someone and can't shake this person. It's like, what is this? It's never happens to me. Why am I going through this now? Well, it's a lot of karma going on with you guys. Couple Geminis. I feel for some of you, you're moving forward step by step, but you almost can sense the end is near. Now, it's two groups of you. Some of you can sense that the end is near with this person. They may even feel like, you may even feel like, and now you look at them like, you don't care about me, do you? You, you don't. You know, your career is more important. This is more important. Everything is more important than me. And I've taken my time and I've waited and I've waited on you. This could go vice versa, guys. So keep that in mind. I've waited on you for quite some time to see if you're ever going to check back in to me, to us, what happened? So some of you can feel that the end is near. And it's almost like, you know how it is that people mourn, will mourn before the complete ending? Some of you are mourning someone, this relationship with someone, knowing that it's over. Okay, there may have been a fight and a fallout and now your person is icing you out. They've cut off communication. OK, the challenge is, is that other people have gotten in, involved in this relationship or there is unnecessary bickering and fighting and just can't seem to see eye to eye with each other anymore. OK, um, what's coming up? I feel that it's almost like for some of you, the tables may have turned where the female here is now more focused on herself and what she has going on. She may come across as self-centered, arrogant. Um, all about herself, whereas this man is so deeply in love with this woman or is trying in every way he can. He may, not be as, he may be in love with her, but he also may just like her a lot or his emotion, something about this woman. It brings out that a sensitive side to him and he just wants her to understand how important she is to him. So this dynamic is very interesting as far as how the two of you will continue with each other. Um, now okay um, and because someone isn't getting the attention that they feel they deserve or that they want um, there in lies the arguments the bickering the fighting okay and then any little thing it makes it difficult to come back together and work things out and it's because someone really feels like you're seeing someone you have someone else there's somebody outside of me that you're more interested in and that could be anything right um, and because that is a a harsh truth. It's like a harsh truth that some of you are going to have to admit here. And for most of you that are listening, you probably can relate to this in some area of your life where there's a harsh truth that you've got to come to terms with. It's not easy, you know, to have to come to 
to terms with this hard truth. But in order for you to karmically move to the next stages of your life, you're going to have to admit it. And it's almost like in this relationship, it's like seeing your relationship on a screen and knowing how it's going to end. You know how it's going to end. And again, that's why for some of you, there is this um, process of having to accept an end or accept the change in this relationship, even though it doesn't feel good. Okay. So if any of you are interested in the live extended read, you can find that in the description box below. I'm doing it differently, but I will still be answering the, all the questions that I've put in the description box below. So if you want to find out what we talk about, you can find that down there. You also can check out the 2021 Gemini yearly. If you want a look ahead of what's coming up for you guys, that's in the description box along with the website to to set up a personal reading with me and if you're new welcome and subscribe because i'll be back very soon with another one take care gemini